I think most of you watching me right now know that. And you are much more involved with your marriage and your kids than your dad or your granddad ever was. But, and this is a big old but, I still don't think we're getting exactly what women are wanting in terms of provisions that we should be providing. So let me share with you the consensus of what they want. I think some of these answers that came from the women that I surveyed will surprise you. They certainly did me. And I think some of these answers you're not gonna like. I certainly didn't. In fact, the most dominant and consistent answer is the opposite of how I have been trying to orchestrate my life. And I'll admit, I'm still grappling with how to handle this. This answer is probably best given by my 94-year-old grandmother. I asked her a whole series of questions about what she was initially looking for in her ideal husband, and then what attracted her to my grandfather, and when did she know that she Masculinity is what attracted her to your grandfather. Masculinity, something that you don't have, sir. She was in love with him and more. They were married for 67 years, and it would have been more, but my grandfather passed seven years ago. There's not a time when I talk to my grandmother when she doesn't say, I miss your grandfather, and then recall some loving memory. I asked her, Grams, when did you feel most loved by your husband? Was it words of affirmation, quality time, touch, or intimacy? Was it the gifts that he gave you, or flowers, or compliments? She interrupted me and said flatly, when he was mopping my floors. What? I said. My grandmother can be very witty, so I assumed she was joking. She wasn't. Not even a little bit. She said, that is when I knew he cared about me, about our home, and about our family, and was being a man and pitching in. Still unsatisfied with this answer, I continued to question, but what does mopping floors have to do with love and intimacy and being a heroic man? Everything she said flatly and began to explain. She said, running a household is a lot of work. It's unglamorous and it's tedious work that never ends. It's work no one likes to do. It's uncelebrated and it's taken for granted. There are no applause for a clean toilet or fresh sheets on the bed. And all of it falls on mama's shoulders. Your grandfather, she continued, was never sexier than when he had a mop in his hand and was scrubbing my floors. That's when I knew he cared. That's when I knew he got it and he understood me. He was jumping in to help. He could see that the boat was taken on water and he jumped in to start bailing with me. He never needed to say anything. It was the most affectionate thing he could ever say or do. What? Here I have been buying these expensive gifts, using all these damn hair products and expensive face creams, working out to keep in shape, trying different cuts of underwear for different occasions, and it's a mop? That's sexy? This was not the answer I was expecting or wanted. And this wasn't only my grandmother's point of view, it was the answer that came up most consistently amongst all the women that I surveyed, old and young, spanning five generations, married or just dating, heterosexual or not, kids or no kids, the same freaking answer. And it can be the small things even. Allison, who has been with Kevin for four years, said this, it's the small daily things, making my tea for me in the morning, delivering me breakfast and or lunch while I'm working, folding the laundry, you name it, just help me out, she said. Victoria, who is a millennial, 24 years old, who's been with her boyfriend Kevin for five years, responded to the when she feels love question the same. When he surprises me by bringing me food when I'm working. Girl loves to eat, she said. <sighs> so, so pretty much, fellas, you have to be a servant to your woman. That, that's, that's when she loves you the most, guys. Oh, oh yeah. When you scrubbing them floors, oh. Oh man, she loves she loves you so much. No, 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 no. Fellas. Fellas. When your woman loves you the most, 
or your girlfriend cares about you the most is when you're masculine when you can be her rock when you can be there for her when you can be that shoulder she can cry on or that person that she can listen to that's that that's masculinity handling the situation you know her being able to trust you to handle the situation her being able to follow your lead that's masculinity her you know when when she messes up you tell her you know what i'm saying you hold her accountable for her actions that's what she's attracted to that's what she loves that's why most of these women out here are having a hard time with these better males is because they're not holding them accountable they're not masculine enough they're soft they're soy boys but like the like that that's that's the thing that's the thing that most modern women modern day women don't understand they chase the chads and shit like that but then they settle for a better meal and that's not what they're attracted to that's why they're so lost and they're delusional as well you know feminism and all the other shit besides the point masculinity is what a woman is always going to be attracted to 100 percent this is lies bro this this is not true mr betamel strategies darren stop the cap it's Megan, mom of two rambunctious boys, ages five and two, has been married to Aaron for six years. She said, when he goes out of his way to serve, whether small or big, he's a talker, loves words of affirmation, but he's slowly learning that doesn't fly with me. So I feel most loved anytime he does something for me, whether it's taking out the trash or getting my oil changed or taking care of both boys so that I can have a few hours to the day to myself. That is what I need. So helping out acts of service wins me over every time. Kylie, who is our A-team culture queen, married three years to Eric, has a one-year-old son, the ginger-haired Ledger, and another boy, Rylan, on the way. She had the exact same answer. She wrote, right now my life is very busy, so I feel like my love language might have shifted in the past year or so from words of affirmation to acts of service. Helping me get something done or taking care of something around the house or with Ledger is really appreciated now. He can tell me words of affirmation down the road when I don't have as much going on. Ha ha, she says. Now, man, let me add the exclamation point that Maggie put on her answer. And I think this is a key point, one we can seem to not get through our thick Neanderthal heads. So let me just read it to you here. Maggie, who's been married to Brandon for 14 years and has two beautiful girls, ages 10 and 6, she wrote, when he does anything that I don't have to ask him for that benefits the family, like washing the cars or folding laundry, 99% of the time I have to ask. I hate that. So when he does it without my prodding, I feel like he loves me enough to see that I need the the support. And I feel like I'm not alone and that the weight of our family is not solely on me. <laughs> and my dear friend, Anna Marie, who is one of the most loving, personally introspective and enlightened people I know. When I asked her when she feels most loved by Marvin, her husband of 37 years, I really expected some spiritually complex and deep answer. But her answer was simply, and I quote, every time I send him to Whole Foods with my grocery list every other day, and he never complains about it. And all the other times he is helpful around the house. That is when I feel most loved. Oh, good scent boy. Oh yes, yes, you did so good. You did so good. Fellas, remember what I said? When a woman says she likes one thing, she means the complete opposite. It's okay to help out your woman, but what's wrong with her going to grocery, going out grocery shopping? What is she doing? If the husband's a breadwinner, he's bringing home the money. He's doing everything he, he she, he's supposed to do. He is protecting. He's bringing the protection, the security, all of that. What's so what's so hard about going out grocery shopping? 
Cause what it seems to me is like the husband's being a servant and just doing just doing everything. That's that's what it seems like. Like none of this, it, none of this says what the woman does, what the woman brings to the table. And nothing, nothing. And that and that's that's the problem because men are actually following this advice and they're actually asking what do women want, and women don't even know what they want. They are they they are the most confusing beings on this planet. Their emo, their emotion, their the one minute they're mad, one minute they're happy. Like it, it's 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 a lot to deal with, fellas. Never ask a woman for advice, for a relationship advice, relationship advice. Please don't do it. You're not going to. It's not going to help you. It's going to make things worse. If anything, ask a man that's been through it. Please. Well, men, there it is, plain and simple, and it's probably not news, and it's not something they haven't told us over and over again. If, and I'm assuming as a man and as a husband, you do want your, your, your woman, your wife, to feel loved by you, right? If you do, then it really comes down to this. Pitch in without having to be asked, and don't complain about it. <laughs> and, I, and I do have to be frank here. Before I did this project, when my wife told me these things, as all wives have told their husbands these things for many millennia, it just sounded like a nag. I didn't see any purpose in it. I've always had this divide and conquer mentality. You take care of the inside, I'll go out and slay the dragons on the outside, or however y'all have divided it up. When I was still asked to wipe this or sweep that, I would problem solve this by saying, hey, how about this? I'll slay an extra dragon or two out there and then pay someone to do all the stuff you want me to do. And being gallant, I'd add, I don't want you to do it either. There's no need for you to be scrubbing toilets or power washing the backyard either. Let's just hire it out, I would say proudly. But that never has gone over with well with my wife. And I never understood it. I if she don't want to do it, then who else going to do it? If she don't want to cook, if she don't want to clean, you hire somebody that's fixing the problem, right? She don't want to do it, then somebody else is doing it. What's the problem? What, what, what's the problem? Fellas. <laughs> it's so, it's, it's funny because this is, this, it's, this is truly sad, bro. Like, there's nothing wrong with divide and conquering because you're good at some things and I'm good at some things. We're meant to complement each other, men and women. I bring something to the table, you bring something to the table. It's simple. That's how that's how society has worked, bro. Somebody gets the building materials, somebody somebody makes the house and puts the building materials together. I go get the food. I go kill the deer, the bear, get the meat, you go cook the meat. If somebody is doing everything in the relationship, it's not going to work out. Yes, it's and it's sad that us men have to feel like we have to sacrifice so much. Like we have men have sacrificed a lot over the years in society and women don't do anything but complain about the little shit they gotta do. They don't want to do. They don't want. They don't want to do the traditional role anymore, fellas. That's all I'm trying to get you guys to understand. Like things are changing. Women want to be leaders. Women want to be men. They want you to bow down to them, and I'm not bowing down to no woman, bro. Like I'm not doing that. Once you do that, you giving up your masculinity. There's no you. It, there's nothing left. That's what a man's supposed to do. That's our in our biological nature. That's our that's a, that's a men nature. Just like there's female nature, there's men nature as well. That that is us. And when you when you do this, and when you do what Mr. Better Male Strategies is telling you, you're giving up your power to your woman without you even knowing. I don't know if it's because she grew up with immigrant parents who had backbones that were forged with iron or or what? I mean, she watched them do everything. Work, clean, garden, 
Her mother even handmade their clothes that they wore for seven children. Whether it was that or, or if, as she tells me, she just doesn't like other people all up in her nest. And she adds that I should want to help out anyway. I didn't understand. The work would get done. I would make sure of it, just not by me. What difference does it make? Still not getting it, I think. <laughs> Maybe she just likes inflicting pain on me, that she enjoys seeing me tortured, that she wants to revel in the fact that she's forced me to do something that she knows I absolutely freaking hate to do and would even pay good money not to do it. By the way, you can see how lame a man's brain can be. What? What the fuck? But it's only now, after getting this same answer, not just from my wife, but from a whole spectrum of women, contemporary <laughs> women all the way up to my grandmother born in the 1920s and married to the same man, a World War II fighter pilot for what would have been three quarters of a century that I now think I see. They all want the same thing. They want their man to step in and help personally be involved in helping make the nest better. Help maintain the nest. Fellas, I'm gonna end the video right here. He's just going around in circles. It's, this is better male strategies. <laughs> <laughs> I can't listen to this simp shit no more. I, I, I can't. I can't do it. I, I can't. Fellas, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this brought insight of how better males in feminism is programming men to be more weak and less masculine. Because that's their goal. They're trying to make men not masculine. And we here at the Just Chris channel, you know what I'm saying? The masculinity game we we don't partake in any of this behavior hopefully you guys aren't if you are you will be exposed okay um so don't forget to like comment share subscribe i want to thank you guys for a thousand subscribers it's always been a dream of mine you know what i'm saying and um i accomplish it so the next thing the next thing on my goal list is 10k and I know with you guys that I'm going to make it there, bro. I am. And I envisioned it. I already see myself there. I just want to thank you guys. I want to thank, every, I want to thank everybody in the Nodi game, Masculinity game, you know, George and Ramsey, Turtle, um, Wolf game. Um, thank you guys so much. You know what I'm saying? From the bottom of my heart, bro. This is my purpose. I love doing this. I love waking up men, even some women, if you're watching. Um, thank you guys. All right. It's been your boy, Just Chris. I'm out this bitch. Peace.